Secretly recorded from deep inside the bowels of a decommissioned missile silo, we bring you the man, one single man, who wants to bring light to the darkness and dark to the lightness. Although he's not always right, he is always certain. So now, with security protocols in place, the protesters have been forced back behind the barricades and the blast doors are now sealed. Without further delay, let me introduce you to the host of Hutcast, Mr. Tim Hutner. Thank you, Sergeant at Arms. You can now take your post. On this episode of Hutcast, tonight, Sunday, the 23rd of this glorious 2022, we're going to have a conversation. Well, not a conversation. I'm just going to tell you what COVID and me have had in common lately in the last couple of days. So for Hutcast, stand by. We will be returning after this message. We hear a lot about air quality these days. So keeping your indoor equipment running clean and efficiently is important to your health. The experts at Dependable Heating and Cooling in Coon Rapids have been servicing the Twin City areas for more than 25 years with the latest and most efficient technology available. They will repair or replace your equipment and keep your indoor air healthy and comfortable. Call 763-757-5040. Our team of experts is standing by waiting to help you with all your indoor needs. Mention you've heard about this by listening to the Hutcast podcast, and you will receive a $50 off any repair. That's Dependable Heating and Cooling, 763-757-5040. Dependable Heating and Cooling. Happy Sunday, everybody. And as I mentioned in pre-roll, that's right, COVID-19 and me. Tested positive for it. Well, today, I've had it a couple of days. Uh, last week, I was unable to have a hot cast because I've been just kind of feeling down. I'm thinking I've had it then, too. But here we go. COVID-19. So let's start this out with, what do I know about it? Well, you hear of all the hype in the news. You hear of all the, the, the scaredemics and the plandemics and all this stuff where they, where they want to freak you out. And, and, and don't get me wrong. There are people out there who have had this and it's a real deal. And as I said before, it's pretty real. Uh, this plandemic with this is, is a lot of hype and scare. I don't want, uh, officially to be known that I'm not the guy who's just going to go out and say, Hey, it's not real. It, it is real, but here's what happened in my neck of the woods. First of all, if anybody's been following the the Scott Quinner debacle, the uh, Mercy Medical Center comes from, oh, Minnesota here, out west of the cities, goes through this huge doohickey of COVID. He's 55 years old. He's a, he's a trucking uh, logistics kind of guy. And he was going to get the plug pulled on him until the court order injunctioned Mercy Medical Center to say, not going to happen. Well, I, I don't know the specifics of this. I can only assume that it was a, uh, they wanted to do some right to try stuff. They didn't get that opportunity and they moved them to Texas. Well, Scott died here a couple of days ago. Um, my heart goes out to his family. I don't know what more they could have done. I don't know if they did do right to try. If they had started earlier, would the right to try have been an issue? Uh, we had some of this in our own family, the right to try, hence the uh, William Shakespeare law that will be coming out soon, as soon as it gets through uh, the, the omnibus bill. And it's going to be heard on the floor. So Scott didn't make it. And, and, and again, I'm very sorry to his family, but I can tell you what happened to me, and, and here's where, here's where we get going on this. You get this feeling in your chest. You get this tightness. Uh, you know, I'm sure that's where the fibrosis comes in and your, and your lungs start to get all, you can't, you can't breathe. You can't get that oxygen into your blood because your lungs are starting to turn over and, and they can't, they can't get no, no, no oxygen through them. Now, the fibrosis part, if you have an oximeter, you can keep an eye on that. We thought a long time ago that we were going to plan ahead for this. I called my, to my local agency for medical health, I says, hey, I, I, this is Tim Hutner. I want to put me on the 
ivermexin i want an ivermexis plan i want to you know get me going on all the things that i need like oh what's the other one uh doxycycline and then neo nita i can't even pronounce the name it's a nita zeodine and then uh, an early treatment pack for for something in case this happens my doctors at riverway said no i said hold on here this is not this is not a you know a thing you guys don't have to worry about it it's, i want this in my inventory no more than i would want aspirin or or ibuprofen we are not going to allow you to have this huh well that sounded kind of odd i said okay whoever you are yeah you know at that point i'm taking names and numbers and employee id numbers and all the stuff that you need to for later in life and i said you mark in my records right now that i have requested this information uh, and this particular medicines and you have denied me well they asked me are you having symptoms I says, no, but I don't need to have symptoms to have aspirin on, on hand in case I have symptoms. They again denied it profusely that we won't even prescribe it. Well, then wh what do you care if I'm going to have it on hand or not? Why do you, if you're not going to prescribe it to anybody, then what do you, what do you want to know? Which kind of, kind of, kind of upset me. <clears throat> so I took to these guys and I went, all right, it's in my record. I've requested and you've denied me and I went someplace else now. There are plenty of places for you to get these early treatment packs. There are plenty of places to get ivermectin, uh, doxycycline, and nita zeonide, and of course the early treatment packs. One of my suppliers uh, also said that if, if you believe it or not, if you were getting fibrosis in the lungs and you can't get enough oxygen in your system, that they use a, a down south in Tennessee, they prescribe a, a symphenidol. Uh, the ge generic Viagra to open up the capillaries in the lungs. They've been using them for, for years now. A and it seems to get the oxygen back in their system, which I did not know. I learned that on last Thursday afternoon. So moving forward, I contacted a company called seven cells. It's on the web. It, uh, you can get this prescription stuff. They, they prescribe to you what you want to do. It's not through your vendor. You're paying, you're paying the price. It's not through your healthcare provider, but it's on, on, on hand for you to use it in case you do need it. Now, Seven Cells is an online company. And of course, you're always worried or fearful of, yeah, you're getting horse tranquilizers or you're getting the right stuff. I mean, you, you have to go out of chain and that's about out of chain as you can get. But here I am buying this stuff out of chain because my supplier, my my medical care provider denied me until I'm in trouble. I thought, bull crap on that. Excuse the uh, throat clearing programs. I'm I'm still I'm still COVID positive and I'm still uh, trying to get through this. My wife gets sick. She has these flu type symptoms. She tests negative. That was like on a Friday, Saturday. I'm starting to feel the, the, the spin of this, but it's different symptoms, way different symptoms. My first symptom was the tightness in the chest. Um, you get that feeling of, of just kind of bleh. Uh, my second symptom is my, which is opposite the popular belief out in the world, you know, because the, the scandemic guys are want you to freak out. I got my heightened smell. I, I could smell everything. Everything was a, was a smell that you were like, okay, I, I don't normally don't smell that good, but then all of a sudden you can, I mean, everything in the house, you could smell everything. Uh, the next was my hearing. I and mean, I got tough hearing, but you could hear way more things. Uh, let's see the next thing, taste. Uh, they say the taste goes away. Not for me, it didn't. My taste went through the roof. I could taste a shake of salt versus no salt in, in a program of, you know, popcorn. I mean, it was just, my senses were incredible difference. Then I thought, after all this, I can't have COVID-19. Then you get the fever. All right, well, the fever starts in. Um, you get pinched a little bit on the bottom side. You know, it's a low-grade fever, and that that is true. Yeah, I went up to like a 101, and, I, and then at that point, I've already started my, my maintenance pack, way back when Roxy was sick or my wife and I thought, okay, let's, 
let's let's get ahead of this game because I don't want to be the guy uh, like this Scott guy and go, oh, I guess I got it, and now I got to fight it. So I started my my service pack of early treatment pack from the Seven Cells Company. These guys, Seven Cells, are in Florida, and they can be found on the web. Seven Cells sends me my programs. I start my ivermectin. I start my uh, neo exodine. And I just kind of take it once a day, 25 mils. I'm a 240-pound guy, so I, I have uh, 24 milligrams for, for deal, as, as per the introduction say. And the next day, maybe a day and a half, night and day difference. I'm waiting for the going to throw up. I'm waiting for the, the diarrhea. I'm waiting for the... I'm waiting for all these things. And knock on wood, everybody. I'm knocking the wood. I don't want to hit, sanction myself into going, oh, I guess I should have shut up and took the good with the bad. But I, I don't want that to be out there. I'm still waiting for the shoe to drop. I'm an, I'm an optimist, maybe a realist. But then you get this drop in temperature. When my temperature drops. I'm not chasing around uh, to be warm all the time because the, the temperature thing was kind of a thing for me. But it is nothing like they've described out in the world. It's nothing like the news wants you to believe. Nothing for me, anyway. I don't know what it is for any of you guys. Uh, maybe you can call in and leave me a note on the, on the hate book page. But I was quite enamored by how the news puts it up to be one thing. And my symptoms were completely different. Now, again, remember, I'm not an anti-vax guy. I just haven't done the vax. And I don't know if I'm going to. Well, now I guess I don't have to because i've got the antigens in my blood and and now we're going to be dealing with this now what version is it don't know don't care covid19 uh, omicron amicron bimicron I, I don't i don't know at first i thought it was just the flu but then my heightened senses changed my thought my opinion so we did the test i've done this test uh, never, several times in the past it's always negative but this time i was like okay maybe there's something real here Head came back positive, and here I am talking about it just hours after I test positive. But I feel pretty good today. My energy's up, it, although it doesn't take long for it to wear down. My O2 stats are about 96. My heart rates are uh, about 100, pretty straightforward. Uh, temperature 99.5, a little low-grade fever, and I just, you know, it's a day and a half. A, a day and a half get my butt kicked by this temperature thing at that point i want you to know that what they say in the news and what they what i've gone through uh, are completely different now you know they get some people that say well i've got the shot and it would have been it would have been more if if i didn't get the shot I, I don't know i mean i look at it as if, if this is the flu and this is the covid 19 i would rather have 19 than the flu because a to two totally different types of sicknesses i mean in the flu you're 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 hawking up a, an awful lot you got that whole congested my smell you know my smell was like spot on i could smell anything and with it with a, you know with the flu you puking crap and throwing up Ugh. so i thought i would just do a small episode today about my bout with 19 uh, again the seven cells guys get on their website check them out have yourself a battle plan in position for you in case you get into this position and 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 you you know you, you know don't don't act don't don't be behind the eight ball on this people most health plans will not provide you with a preventative they only want to treat you which is ass backwards in the world they have they have the ability to do this they have the ability to make way more money they they just it's not a they they don't want you to have a you know a plan and if you do go into the hospital and you say, I've got 19, you still ain't going to get ivermectin or any of the, the, the vitamins and minerals you need in your body. I mean, we started that too. There's other things out there that you, you, you put in there, your B, your B plus, your K, your vitamin, all those vitamins. We took a bunch of those on top of the early treatment pack. So I guess I was juiced up with all kinds of whatevers, but uh, Hey, um, right now I just got to be off work for five days so that people could not get, uh, Carry on, that's a responsible thing to do. So I'm here to tell you, there's a big difference between what they're telling us and what it is. At least for me, it was. Um, this Scott guy, I, I, he, he's not in a 
you know, he's, he's a very bad situation. Gone worse. Uh, could the hospital have done anything? I don't know. My other episode of Mayhem at Mercy, you might want to listen to that. Because that's one of those things where this all led up to this type of thing. <clears throat> okay, where are we at now? We are 14 minutes, 23 seconds into this. I had an interesting conversation about medical companies with a senator that has been on the show. And it was here tonight, and he he had brought me to some some pretty interesting points. I um, appreciate their conversations with him. He 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 also pointed out that the healthcare provider system is in such a upheaval right now because we kept letting the the, the crazy lefts or the crazy rights or the crazy whoever's steer this in such a way where the only big customer that they have is is socialized medicine. Socialized being their biggest customer is the United States government, or the, the Minnesotas, the, the whoever that these people are putting on the, the company dull, this program. And, and I had to stop and think about it. And, I, and you know, he's been on here and Senator Mark Curran in Minnesota here. And, and he says, it's such a mess that they can't even begin how to control the people they put out there to stir it up. So, They've unleashed this genie, and they can't put it back in the bottle. Is what he's telling me. In a nutshell, they they, they spin this up. They say, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna turn this around. You are going to begin to do so." But now they're so behind the eight ball with this. It's so gotten out of control. Their totalitarian ways of making stuff happen. The the the, the powers of of embodiment that 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 control you. That that and how do we control you? We control your health care. We control your pain. We control your, you know, there's just a lot of control ways here. And, and I listen to him. I want to make sure that I'm just not the guy, you know, drinking the Kool-Aid and listening to that. I, I thought, okay, you know, you got a point here. We'll have him on the show here in a couple of weeks. He said he would jump into it. But I got to make sure that he uh, you know, keeps him on task. Great guy. He's got a lot of information. So I'm kind of all over the board tonight. And I, and I know that because there's, I'm just running this from the hip. There's no, there's no script tonight. It's just what kind of happened and, and how you explain it and how, how I can just tell you what, what happened here for the non-vaxxers. If you're non-vaxxed, stay non-vaxxed. If you're vaxxed, be vaxxed. I don't know if, if there's a right or a wrong. I believe there's a lot of, uh, misinformation. Uh, scare tactics is still a thing. I, I don't know how to begin and, and tell you what's real and what isn't real. All I can tell you is what happened to me. A friend of mine who was uh, in the local PD got juiced up with all kinds of shots. We had to do it for work. Uh, one, two, and three boosters. You know, he had everything and still got it. And then, you know, he says, well, it could have been worse if I didn't take them. I, I don't know. I can I can dispute that fact right now. If I'd rather have 19 versus the flu, you know, the bad flus, I'm thinking, Okay. But knocking on wood, I don't want to be that guy who talks uh, crap and ends up in the in a box somewhere. So I, again, people, I just I want you to know how it was for me and, and how important this company, this whoever whoever you get it from, uh, you know, I like to call it the black black market medical center, black market uh, medicine, uh, whatever you want to call it. But there's got to be some type of a the common sense here, when your own provider will deny you, but you can get it from someone else and make sure you got your bases covered. So, so focus on that. Understand that it's not when you need a fire extinguisher, it's that you have one. This is your medical fire extinguisher. Everybody says, well, do I need to put this in inventory? Well, I got enough for the whole family and as far as I can go until I run out. But then what? Uh, is it going to be Omicron, uh, Delta Cron, Victor Cron? I mean, how many are gonna, how many are going to be after this? And will this cover us? You know, when you go out for testing, they don't tell you what version you have; they just tell you you have it. So, did magically delicious the first nineteen go away, and now everything's uh, Delta variant or Omicron? Uh, how do you know? I mean, you either have it or you don't. Whatever variant you have. Maybe my variant is the Omicron, and the first two would have kicked my butt. Well, we we do a lot of people, and we're around a lot of people, and 
you know, we take precautions, not like we're going to go in there and lick the door handles when we walk into a building, but, you know, we take our precautions and we say, what are we not going to do? And, well, that's one of those things. Other than that, we just talk to people. We keep our distance. We do the common sense things in life. All right. I don't know what else I can tell you on that. Um, kind of a thing for me to reach out and put some medical out here. I mean, it's not kind of what I wanted to do, but I thought it was important to for everyone to know in all the countries that we're listening to, what are you guys doing? I mean, my, our medicine comes from India, and it's a it's a kind of a strange thing that you're you got to depend on a third world country's medical medical to feed us in the United States. I mean, we're, we're the U.S. for God's sakes. This is the best we can do. I, I got to go to India for my my materials because my my healthcare provider won't provide me with the stuff I need. Hmm. Think about that. I think that's kind of screwed up. Think about it as a whole. I had to buy black market equipment, black market stuff, so that if this happens to me, and it did, it was I knew it was just a it wasn't if it was when. When it happened to me, I would have a plan B. Uh, again, uh, plan B is these kits, these ivermectin, these vitamin packs. But my provider wouldn't provide me. How does that sound? Think about the whole total sound of that. Provider says no. Okay, up yours. I'll figure out another way. Where there's a will, there's relatives. That's, you know, that's, a, that's how it works. And I find this program. I do it. I feel pretty good. I mean, other than a sore throat. I mean, not even a sore throat, just kind of a, <clears throat> you know, kind of a throat throat. But I'm still able to talk to you. I'm still able to have my conversation with you. A little bit of headache, too, once in a while. But nothing nothing too crazy. So I wanted you to know that if you get a chance, Seven Cells was one vendor for us. There's many vendors all over the world. Uh, some of them require a, a prescription. Some of them have online prescriptions. Some of them will allow you to do something with their own staff. Read on it. Pay attention. Get the stuff that's out there. You know, don't go crazy and take a whole bunch of this thinking you got, you know, you're going to, that you're going to uh, not get healed from this. But it's just something that you can protect yourself with and your family. So have that medical fire extinguisher in your medicine cabinet for when you need it. And, and I'm a firm believer. I'm telling you firsthand. Wow. Big difference. Big difference on how this works when you just take a little bit of self-advocacy for your medical rights, your medical freedom. And if you're a vaxxer, excellent. If you're an anti-vaxxer, excellent. You can you can let the system work for you or you can work for the system. Um, however that decides and works for you, that's up to you. But I personally am glad that I had that inventory and very much so feel gifted that I was able to just go out and say, look, we're, we're taking over, we're doing this. All right, we're 23 minutes into this segment. It's a one-segment show today. Uh, we're going to wrap this up. Again, everybody, ivermectin through seven cells in Florida is where we got our stuff from. And the battle pack and the, the vitamin packs and the, the pre-warning stuff. And, 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 and the testing was a test that was, I forgot to tell you this earlier. Our test was called, where is it here? Uh, Eye Health. Eye Health is a... COVID-19 test, test results in 15 minutes self at, at home, and it's an antigen rapid test. So literally, I will post this on our chapter marker for you guys, and it's a really simple test. I mean, you got to get some snot on it, and once the snot gets you working into the, to the little tether, you put it in the juice, you mix it around, pretty straightforward test. Now, I've done about half a dozen of these tests already, and never positive until now, again, eye health, COVID-19, antigen rapid test. Uh, there's other places out there that provide. Uh, now you can get free tests, according to o Biden. I don't know where that is. More more stuff we're paying for. More of the people who write the checks are paying for tests. So I can say on this whole deal that I've been paying all my own bills, even though I have insurance. Uh, Hotcast again, pulling the pin at 24 minutes and 50 seconds into this. Thank you all. Be safe. 
cover your own CYA, cover your own ass, because no one's going to do it for you. Be your own advocate. Be your family's advocate for people who think that you're not smart enough to make your own decisions. All right. Be well. Hutcast signing off. And that's a wrap for Hutcast. Hutcast is, again, a pragmatic approach to seeing things how some people see them. If you like our show, give us a thumbs up on the Facebook site. Again, for Hutcast, thank you again. Have a wonderful evening.